It's a perennial issue we've discussed many times here on Beat the Press. Should third party candidates be included in media sponsored debates? Well, it's come up again. Evan Falchuk is running for governor under the United Independent Party banner, one of three independent gubernatorial candidates on the November ballot. Back in August, NECN invited Falchuk and the other independents to appear alongside Republican Charlie Baker and Democrat Martha Coakley in a televised debate. But earlier this month, NECN rescinded their invitation to the independents, reportedly citing low poll numbers. Now, Evan Falchuk is suing NECN and the debate co-sponsors, the Worcester Chamber of Commerce and the Telegram for breach of contract, and wants the court to force his inclusion. So does Evan Falchuk have a valid complaint. Marjorie Egan, you moderated a debate this weekend. What do you think? Well, I, I don't, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know what the law is here, the contractual thing, and whether he has a legitimate legal case. But you know what? Uh, Evan Falchuk has had his opportunity to make his case to the voters. He's been in other debates before. We've had him on the radio uh, at least a couple of times, if not more. Uh, Jeff McCormick, the same thing. I get a little frustrated by these candidates that get nowhere in the polls. They're all less than 2%. Mm -hmm. The voters are interested in the two people who are, you know, one or two is going to win, Martha Coakley and, and Charlie Baker. To me, it's, at some point, the candidates have to give up and realize this is about the voters. It's about the voters seeing the two people that are going to win against each other. I've monitored, uh, moderated some of these five people debates. And they don't serve anybody well because everybody's got their. You never get a chance to see the two central people. And if there's, if they were 10 percent in the polls, if they were 8 percent in the polls, they're less than 2 percent in the polls. So he may have a legal case. Yeah. I don't. They think claim if they if they were included, maybe they would be more than 2 percent. In They've the been polls. included in a lot of debates. They haven't gotten anywhere. You know, I think what we need is a combination, and I think we've gotten a combination. Uh, John Keller included all five in the WBZ debate a few weeks ago. I thought it was a very good, informative format. This week, Jim and Marjorie did the two, and I thought that was useful as well. I, I agree with Marjorie. They've had their shot. Um, they don't seem to be resonating with anybody. And I'm not a lawyer either, but I'll tell you, I don't think that Evan Felchuk has a leg to stand on. <laughs> this strikes me as a First Amendment issue mm -hmm. that he's trying to masquerade as a contract issue. Mm -hmm. Well, I will say that he may have a leg to stand on in that he was invited yeah. and then disinvited. So standing on that, no, that, I mean, you know, that's a verbal and a written contract. He may have something there. In any case, it's raising the issue about these third party candidates. Now, I'm on record. I'm usually the lonely voice. If people get their 10,000, 15,000 mm -hmm. signatures, they need to be included. 15,000 voters thought they, their voices should be heard in the whole mix. On the other hand, I thought the debate that Jim and Marjorie did was fantastic. So I agree Thank with you, that. Thank you, Callie. No, I've said that. I'm on the record for that. So, But there's got to be a way for us. It's not for us as journalists. That's what I get to, making these decisions. We've got to figure out how to mix it up, how to do it. Um, there was just a, a debate with uh, uh, in Connecticut with one guy. The Republican didn't show up. So the Democrat debated the independent candidates. Really? Maybe there's a way for yeah. us to figure out how to do it. But that's incumbent upon us. I, I just feel like that's this is democracy and it's not for us to make that final decision. Boy, mm -hmm. I'm with you, Callie. I'm I'm 100% uh, on this. I think it's that these debates are journalism. And uh, we really need to have all the candidates present if one if as long as they're on the ballot, if they qualify for the ballot, the the voters, our readers, our our audiences will be facing these people in the ballot box and deciding what to do with them. I well, think she's not we, saying yes, they all have to be on. Callie just said a mix. Yeah, and sometimes on, sometimes not. I mean, just okay. it out. Well, then I'll be more, I'll be the extremist, as I always That's am okay. here. Yeah. Big extremist. I think they should all be in the debates. I think they have earned it. When I heard you say, you they can got produce that. No, I mean, I want them to be. On. Don't <laughs> but, get me wrong. I'm just but, saying they should. But there's one thing. Out a way to it's do it. important to yeah. say. Evan Falchuk and uh, Falchuk and McCormick are, are millionaires. They can go out and they can buy those signatures. So it's not as if it, 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 this opens up the prospect of anybody who's a zillionaire that decides I want to be the governor of Massachusetts, going out and buying signatures, getting on the ballot, and insisting that they hire a lawyer and they fight the w w NACN and the Worcester Telegram. I don't see that as a big Democratic thing. I think that's the thing as a rich guy is used to getting his way. No, no not no. only that, well, that's Char quite Charlie Baker and Martha Coakley had to work a lot harder to get on the ballot than, than, than independents just going out and getting signatures. They had to go through several Primaries. additional processes right. to get on this, including winning primary elections. And I think that that ought to be recognized. 
recognized as well. Well, so this may be actually an issue then about parties and, and designation, as uh, Peter uh, Ubitasio says at Stonehill College. That may be what it comes down to. But we, I think as journalists, we've got to figure out what to do with with bought votes in the democratic system, if that's what you think, or not bought votes uh, to get people on They unbalanced. all buy our votes. So it all gotta, comes down to what they that all buy our that's, votes. A, that's my only thing. I, I, just, I just feel uncomfortable. Um, and yet, it was a good debate.